Today is going to be a good one, I promise. We're talking all about my summer shredding plans. This is us. This is <laughs> Family Fitness Fun, welcome back to the channel guys and thanks for checking out this video and today is going to be a good one, I promise. We're talking all about my summer shredding plans, my plan to get shredded by summer, how I'm going to do it and break it down for you to kind of see how I'm thinking about it already and you should be too. Summer is just around the corner and so many people think that you can start a couple weeks before summer in order to get shredded and get that beach body ready. It couldn't be further from the truth and you need to start planning it today. I'm excited because summertime means I am now able to shed a lot of this extra weight that I've been putting on the last couple months. So this video, I'm going to break it down how I'm going to do it. But before we even get into that, I have to shout out my brother. Look, look, look at these. Look how sick these are. My brother, uh, hold on. My brother, Kier Blevins, who used to have an Instagram, he doesn't have an Instagram anymore, he did when we shot this video. If you missed my Philadelphia trip, make sure you check out that video. But he no longer has an Instagram. Either way, thank you to him and his girlfriend. They surprised me with some pretty cool shoes. I love them for my birthday in a couple weeks. But that's neither here nor there right now. But the first thing I want to talk about right now is how important it is to have a goal in mind, write it down, and set dates. Without writing down your goals, without setting an end date so you're able to focus in your mind and push through to that point, you're never going to be successful in reaching your goals. So we first have to start here and write down your goals. Next, you're going to want to make sure you write down an end date to this. Having an end date where all of this ends and you can have that cheat day you've been looking for or enjoy a couple beers or that's the day a beach party's going on or maybe you're on vacation that week. That is what forces us or enables our minds to push through anything, stay committed and get to the results that we're looking for. So if you're following along, now you have the goal written down and the date. Let me get mine real quick. So, okay guys, check this out. Got my goals right here. Get shredded AF 175 pounds by when? June 10th. So my goals are to get shredded as hell and the goal deadline is June 10th. Why June 10th? Uh, I'm not sure. I kind of just ask here. I really don't have a reason. But June 10th it is. So March, I'm going to keep everything the exact same because March is a busy month. Got my birthday, got some concerts, got my brother's match day, lots going on. Three days a week working out sounds good to me. One video a week every Sunday. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button down right now so you don't miss those. Quick little plug right there. I know you like that. And it allows me time to spend more time with my beautiful daughter, Haven. Heading now into April where everything starts to change. Mind you, please note guys, this is just my personal, personal breakdown of how I'm going to be doing my summer shredding, six pack by summer, summer diet. You can mimic this, you can replicate this, but numbers are going to change. So listen closely on the dates that I use because the dates are pretty set in stone, but some of the calories, macros, and everything change a little bit. April 1st, I will begin a push-pull leg day split, working out in the gym six days a week. Six days from three days is a lot different guys trust me usually i'm hitting each muscle group once a week right now i'm gonna start hitting it twice a week really excited to get to that higher volume aspect of lifting again rather than building strength and focusing on heavier weight and building the muscle and growing i'm going to be focused on blowing it up pushing blood through my muscles and getting lean it's going to start right there it's huge you'll see the difference if you've never done it before try hitting a muscle group twice a week and see what it does for you so that begins april 1st food wise at the beginning of April, I'm going to aim for an 1800 to 2200 calorie diet depending on the last week in March. The last week in March is pretty critical because I'm not going to be tracking or cutting my food intake, but I do want to weigh the portions to see where I'm at. If I've been eating 3000, 4000 plus calories, it's going to be a lot harder for me to cut 
all the way down to 18 or 1900. But if I've been eating a little bit leaner, maybe 25 or 2600, I could possibly get to that 1800, 1900 calories sooner. So we wanna make sure that you don't go from drastic to a big, huge change. Depending on what your last week in March calories are, will dictate what you go to all of April. So May 1st, two big changes happen. Two days of cardio are added to my schedule, and I restrict my calories starting May 1st through May 15th to an 1800 calorie strict nutritional diet and intake. I wanna make sure I start that deficit really early in May because that leaves me a month and change in order to really start cutting that fat and getting that burn off for my June 10th deadline. Most of May stays the exact same like that, but the last week of May, I add more cardio, boo. It becomes four cardio sessions a week. So I'm going to the gym six days a week. Four of them have additional cardio sessions, anywhere from two to 500 calories, depending. The next week after that four day a week cardio week is the dig week. June 1st through June 7th, possibly June 6th, depending. The dig week, by far the worst week Ever, you're going to be cutting your carbohydrates to a very low level 50 75 grams a day but definitely less than hundred and you're gonna see a huge energy loss because you've been relying on carbs so much this entire cut this entire shred to get you through those cardio sessions so stay strict on that week dig through it push through it because you're almost at the end and you'll see a huge drastic difference in your body that week and that leads us to the last couple days before June 10th, which is the end of the shred diet, six pack by summer, whatever you want to call it, it's almost done. And these last couple of days are the fun days. You get to reintroduce carbohydrates into your diet slowly, upping those carbohydrates before June 10th because you want to make sure that you're not completely depleted when you take that after photo. How could I totally forget to remind you to take a before photo? If you're serious about this and following any sort of information that I'm giving you right now and you're trying to get shredded for summer and lose weight and have a six pack before summer, make sure you document it for yourself because it'll help you see results and when you see results, you're more motivated to stick to something. So take that before photo, write down your weight currently and watch the pounds drip off you. Stay dedicated and continue to push through because you deserve more. It's worth it, I promise. So like I said, refeeding those carbs in so you don't look completely depleted before you take that after photo. Most people usually consider this the dig week and then you refeed prior to any sort of physique competition or prep. I don't do physique competitions. Maybe I will someday. Who knows? I don't know. Never even thought about doing it. But anyway, neither here nor there. So you want to make sure you refeed carbs slowly, reintroduce them back in your diet, and you have finally reached that goal date. Did you hit your goal weight? Did you hit that gold physique, visual look? Only you will be able to dictate that and tell. So that's what's so amazing about fitness in general because you can always push it a little bit more every single year, every single day, and it's only you versus you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple months leading to summer, how my diet and nutrition kind of breaks down. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them in a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Hopefully I can help you out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe button down below because I release a video every single Sunday and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I forgot to mention it earlier. It's at Curran Blevins on Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Family, fitness, fun. Have a good night.